a young reporter witnesses landmark civil rights uprisings in the segregated South he calls home. Yes, it upends the country, but it also shakes his consciousness, shakes his own world. He began working as a newspaper reporter in Mississippi in 1949. This is the story of John Herbers, a journalist for the New York Times and United Press International, whose assignment for more than a decade was to report on the civil rights movement in the Deep South. Certainly it's a scene that nobody likes to see. He reported on the brutal execution of Willie McGee, a black truck driver in Mississippi, convicted of raping a white woman. It received national and international news coverage. And the murder trial of Emmett Till. There had been other incidences like this in Mississippi beforehand, but this one shook the nation. He interviewed icons such as Martin Luther King Jr. We've gone too far now to turn back. Robert Kennedy and John Lewis. This man here <laughs> can tell the story. Who decades later met with Herbers again. I thank you for all you did. Thanks, he took readers behind the scenes of the KKK, and he revealed the private grief of the parents of the four black girls who were killed in the Birmingham church bombing. And at his own personal risk, he covered the famous Freedom Summer murders, the riots in St. Augustine, state officers had to use their police baton, and the marches in Selma. In his book, Deep South Dispatch, Memoir of a Civil Rights Journalist, John Herbers offers vivid first-hand accounts of seminal events in the history of our country. His vulnerability as a journalist allows readers to see how one man can remain dedicated to his Southern family and heritage, but also dedicate his work to exposing and rejecting the prescribed laws and mores of a prejudiced society. Upon hearing the not guilty verdict from an all-white jury in the Emmett Till murder trial, he wrote, I felt a nagging feeling in the pit of my stomach. I hunched over the steering wheel and cried. I couldn't stop and cried for many miles. I wanted to cry to the pit of my very core. I was born a black boy. My name is Emmett Till. His retrospective is a timely and critical reflection on America's current racial dilemmas and ongoing quests for justice. I came across for justice to be finally fulfilled All because of me, a black boy, my name is Emmett Till